playing trombone and increasing your ability sometimes requires thinking outside the envelope and thinking about things a little bit differently. There are considerations that you may want to address or you may not want to address, but some of the considerations and some of the uh, outside the envelope type of thinking might include, uh, let's start with loud playing versus soft playing. Loud playing, a good volume of air, a large core of sound, plenty of volume, plenty of air. As you play softer, like a camera, close the aperture, decrease the volume of air, narrow the air stream, and you're going to go, instead of for inaudibility, you're going to go for intensity, so that a soft passage or a, or a quiet sound will have penetration and intensity into it and it won't be just something that turns out to be wallpaper. Um, when you play slow, this is slow versus fast now, when you play slow try giving a little more volume than you might otherwise in order to maintain the slow feel in order to maintain the weight and the continuity of sound. When you play fast you want to maintain the tempo. Tempo is crucial. Play lighter than you might want to. Use accents and spots to highlight places needing a rhythmic push. Punctuate spots. Don't try to play the whole passage loud just because it's fast. Keep a complete awareness of the tempo and don't tend to be notey. Don't go after each note, but go after each beat. That will put everything in a good perspective. Kick the volume down just a bit. You'll find that you'll be able to manage it a lot better and you'll be able to keep the time a lot better. Legato versus rapid staccato. Legato passages use as many close positions as possible. Try and get from one position to another as quickly as possible. Avoid, if you can, long position reaches because it's harder to go ta-da than to go ta-da. And especially, of course, that's why Legato sounds good in the upper register. The positions are close together. Rapid passages, staccato passages, use as many long sweeps of the slide and pick off the notes en route. Um, try for many notes in a row in one direction and change directions on a beat wherever that occurs. <coughs> Slow and fast playing, always think tempo. The tempo is crucial, the time is crucial. If you get the notes that fall on the downbeats, and you get those clear and in time, the rest will fill in. If you keep the tempo, you'll be able to play in tempo. If you start getting note conscious, then you're going to slow the tempo down just to get the note sounding exactly right, and you won't realize you're slowing the tempo down because your mind will be on the notes themselves, but the tempo will get slower and slower, and you will be called upon to uh, play faster. Um, although it won't seem to you that you're slowing down, you will be. So keep uh, an awareness of the time and play according to the time. Everything will fill in if you keep the time going. Staccato, legato, staccato playing. It's not an attack, it's a release. Move the tongue away as quick as possible. Legato playing, tongue every note. Separate each note from the next by tonguing, but don't leave a space between the notes. Ta da da is legato. Ta da da is not legato because there's a space between the notes. So ta da 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 gives you articulation, gives you clarity, and gives you legato. Loud passages versus soft passages. Loud passages. Go for the attack and the highlights rather than a mammoth tone all the time. Don't keep feeding sound, feeding sound into the trombone because it doesn't have any highlights, it doesn't have any high points, and it's actually annoying for the listener to just hear these walls of sound coming from the trombone without highlights here and there, louds, softs, attacks, separations, things of that sort. They are very, very important 
you must keep it in mind to play something musically, not just go for a mammoth volume of sound. Soft passages, as we said before, go for intensity rather than inaudibility. Those are some considerations in playing the trombone that you might want to be aware of.